People squad, it was a bittersweet week for us there. We, we did get over a thousand, which is completely fine. But we had the, the question mark of, of bringing in, you know, I, I mentioned Hines uh, to bring in. Uh, and also, I think it was Hines and Madison was the goal. Obviously, Maddo didn't go that great, but Hines with, you know, turned in over 100. The other option was just bringing in a center. And it was either Bird or Olam. And the majority of people selected Olam. And we get a two. Oh, it's beautiful to look at, that is. Um, positives out of this, we're holding Pap, Fafida, Peachy, a lot of big names on the on the bench there. And we do get Fafida back, which is great. But yeah, trading in Olam this week was a was a big loss, a big L to the squad. We obviously played Walker. We do have Trevojevic. We do have Walsh. So they're two really good ones, which we can be happy about. Captain in Cleary <coughs> is a really good one there. But other than that, there's yeah a few few missteps this week with with Moses and Olam. And if we didn't have them, we're you know we're looking at a really strong week. Obviously, had to play Gamble, which we may have to again this week. We'll uh, we'll work out based on our trades if we're going to be holding Pap, if he's going to be out for sort of three to four weeks and and having some issues with a concussion, which we know what happens you know with guys like Madison and stuff in in, in the past there. But uh, in there with just over a, oh, just over a thousand points, you know obviously a thousand and seven. The ranks at eighteen hundred, which is cool. Um, sitting at 19 trades is not too bad either. So yeah, here we are, as very similar to, to my team in terms of Crichton and Harris there. Pangai with 59, we're happy with heading into the buy rounds. Yeah, Moses not so great. Olam, it's just going to be a just a one random week, like him and Adokar just didn't obviously do anything too good at all, which was uh, not great for, for them anyway. But yeah, ha holding Tommy, having Walsh there is, is two trades that we you know, shouldn't have to make for the rest of the year. I know my team, I don't have them and, and you know, trying to get them in is going to be pretty tough. But the question is going to be, you know, how do we set ourselves up best for round 13? And and currently we're sitting with, what, three, four, five there with Olam, uh, six with Laurie, and then, you know, we've got Peachy for seven, Tyson Gamble possibly for eight if he uh, if he if if he's back for that, and then Flegs for nine. So there's a few guys that that aren't playing there, and, and Fafita and Pat being a couple of them. And, and the question, you know, from here will be, do we do we move on Pap and use that cash to to bring in you know a Papa Lee or, or these types of guys that we've been thinking about over the past few weeks? And yeah, I suppose we'll work it out from there. And, and the trades have been a bit hard to to actually agree on over the last few weeks. And you know, what do you what do you guys think in the in the YouTube comments there? Just let me know what um what kind of trades you think you'd make this week. We're sitting with a little bit of cash. 48k uh, with 19 trades so I think we need to do we need, do need to make a few over the next few weeks so maybe you know ending up with about 15 left using four would be ideal I'd say um, yeah my thoughts there is is possibly Pap we'd like to keep Peachy obviously uh, even playing the three of them was cool Peach, Avrilo and Olam would be completely fine Flegs did okay so we're not going to trade him out you know, there's no really no one really else standing out in the squad that needs to be traded out. So that's probably a good thing. But it's just going to be, you know, do we move on to Sammy Walker? Does Gamble make it all the way to 13? Does Pap need to be traded? Other than that, you know, all these guys in here should be pretty safe coming into 13. So yeah, let me let me know what you guys are thinking around this squad at the moment, and we'll um we'll make those trades at the back end of the week. And you know, with those questions at the moment, guys, with you know asking about oh I've got this certain amount of money to bring in a certain playlist, let's just wait until team list, and then I'll be able to answer all those questions for you. But that's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed the analysis of the uh, the people squad. We're at 1800 in the rank, so hopefully you can claw that back over the next bunch of weeks. We've had a, a few guys out, which has been annoying. So yeah, so hopefully we can uh, we can improve on that and and go from there, guys. So hope you enjoyed this. We'll catch you in the next one.